Okay, you're here with a diagnosis of cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, and it's not a common thing, but it, people miss it all the time. And um, I've agreed to, to hide your face and hide your identity. When was the last time that you presented to the emergency department with, with abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting? It's been going on a uh, concurrent thing probably for a year or so. I come in, see what's going on. They patch me up for that day and send me on back. Then the next week I'll be with the same same diagnosis. Same, same, same symptoms. symptoms. Okay. How many ER visits do you think you've had uh, in, uh, in the last six months? Uh, I'll probably say four to five. Four to five. Four to five. Okay. And nobody has ever talked to you about the cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome? No, no, sir. It's a, this it's first a, time? Yes, sir. No okay. diagnosis to me. Okay. Now, you uh, were telling me, and this is critical to the diagnosis, tell me about the hot showers. The hot showers. It's, for me, it was an early morning thing. I wake up. I wouldn't feel like I had to take a shower or nothing. It's, Something I just did, not knowing I was doing, just because of the symptoms I had, it was felt like I'd take a hot shower and then relieve the symptoms. But in actuality, I believe it was getting it, making making the situation worse. Okay, but but you and and your sister's over here too, and and you were telling me that you've watched him take hot showers all the time, and the hot showers is what made him feel better when he started feeling bad, right? Yeah, man, start feeling better if you get in. Yeah. Steaming hot water. Steaming hot I water. I couldn't stand being it. It was, it was so hot. So hot, yeah. It was okay. all the way hot as it could be. How many times a day is he, and you're okay with being on YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay. How many times a day would you say he would be taking a hot shower? Probably like, about four or five times a day. Four or five he'd times. He'd soak and then get cold and he'd turn it back hot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so what are your symptoms? Where, when you're here today, what, what were your symptoms? Massive vomiting. Nausea and pain in the stomach, not in one specific area. Kind of diffuse pain. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. How many times did you vomit this morning? Oh, I couldn't count them. Couldn't count them. I couldn't count them. When you come into the emergency department, is, is it relatively hard to stop your vomiting and, and get, make the pain go away? Do they, do they end up using a whole lot of different nausea medicines on you? But um, but when you were in the ER, though, they give you Finnergan, they gave you Zofran, and and uh, what really worked? What really started to make the pain? I mean, today today we've given you a couple of doses of Zofran, we gave you Toradol, we gave you Finnergan, and it was really here with just six milligrams of morphine that you uh, started to have some relief. You started feeling better. Now I'll tell you the truth. I've had other patients that have had the same thing. The morphine just would transiently touch it and I end up doing Haldol. We've, we've actually had a number of patients that were convinced Haldol, five milligrams IV, actually um, was the thing that was the final thing that actually made the patient feel better and could go home. Okay, show, show me then where on your stomach it was hurting. It would be from here, pretty much all this. Okay, kind of, right kind of more like mid epigastric. Um, so, so I think earlier on you had said most of your pain was like right up in there, yeah. is that true? And then, do you have any diarrhea or constipation with this at all? No, no, sir. I wasn't. I didn't have any of them symptoms, but. Okay, and and the time of your symptoms is it usually in the morning or is it after you've eaten or um, when when do you when were you? I say it, it'll start off in the morning, and in some mornings I'll be able to control it with a cracker and some water or something. But yeah. If I'm not able to control it, it's until I'm able to get help from somebody like a professor who knows what actually is going on. Yeah, but but so so generally, when you have start to feel bad, it would be early in the morning. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And uh, so vomiting, nausea, belly pain, and then the the uh, hot showers. Uh, that 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 really fits uh, perfectly for the cannabinoid hyperemesis yes, syndrome. Yes, all of them apply. Yeah. It was all symptoms of was I had. Now, what's kind of interesting is that um, marijuana is touted, is taught sometimes as potentially um, will help nausea. But I think this is important to know that one of the side effects of regular use of marijuana 
can actually be this uh, syndrome, and which you uh, so nicely demonstrated today. Uh, you, you've been smoking for how long? Oh, no, three years. Three years. How many, well, how many times during the day would you say you smoke? Probably going on four or five or four. however many I can if it's around. Okay, so you, you probably uh, smoke four or five times a day? Uh, I want to say probably, but... It, uh, pro I mean, you definitely do? Yeah. Okay, four or five times a day. All right. And, uh, and that's every day? Yeah, yes, sir, if I have it on. Okay, if you have it. <laughs>